The next time you are at the Dollar Tree, make sure to get some of these paper towel holders because I'm about to share some hacks with you that just might blow your mind. All right, let's talk about some amazing uses using the Dollar Tree paper towel holder. Now, obviously you can use this to hold paper towels, but I actually find that it's really great for holding all sorts of stuff. You can use it to organize in your bathroom, use it as a storage item for your hair ties, for your scrunchies, and you could even use it for bracelets as well. This allows it to sit out on a counter or on vanity. Another thing I love to use this to organize and to store is ribbons. But essentially you're just going to load your ribbon onto this paper towel holder depending on the ribbon like spool that you have. You may have to pull off some of the cardboard but it'll just slide right over the paper towel holder. You can easily pull length of what you need, cut the ribbon and you are good to go. This is especially great at Christmas time when you are wrapping tons and tons of stuff. And if you're a crafter who uses a lot of ribbon for other types of crafting, you can use it right in your craft room or your craft space to keep all of your ribbons, organized, display, and an easy reach. Now another way that I love to use this paper towel holder is to actually turn it vertically and to hang it on a wall. You can obviously attach these permanently, but they also clip onto a single command hook really, really well. Just make sure, depending on whatever you're hanging, you get the right like uh, weight limitation for whatever hooks you're using. You can use this inside of a pantry, on a kitchen wall, or inside of a cupboard as mug storage. So it's a really great way to make use of some vertical space with any cupboards or cabinets. Another awesome thing to store on these vertically would be cleaning bottles. This would work really great inside of your cleaning closet or underneath a kitchen or bathroom sink. You can also use this inside of a closet wall or even in a bathroom as an extra place to hang clothing. You can use it to put out like your week's outfits, just put some clothing on display, or essentially just create some extra storage space where you didn't have any to hang up some hangers. And once again, what I love about this is because you can do it with a command hook, this can be temporary, so it's super renter friendly. Another place to use these vertically that's really great is right in your bathroom for extra toilet paper storage. It actually holds three full-size rolls of toilet paper really, really well. So literally for $1.25, you can keep some extra toilet paper stored and like up off the floor. You could even do two of them and keep six of them stored there. We're going to flip this back to be vertical and we're going to DIY with it a little bit to make some awesome storage solutions. So first up I'm going to create a caddy. What I love about this paper towel holder is it sort of has this like built-in handle. So I'm creating one first using just some like china cups. You can get cups at the Dollar Tree, just use some cups you have laying around. I was able to fit four all the way around this and then this works as an awesome utensil caddy whether you're having a picnic or just to bring like from the inside side from like your kitchen out to your patio or out to the picnic table. Again, like I said, it's essentially just got this little like built-in handle so you can sort of caddy it around wherever you want. But you can even make this caddy bigger. I added another two cups to like the top of these four so now I had six and I created this into a little art caddy for all of my kids arts and crafts supplies, crayons, stickers, markers, scissors, whatever. And again, built-in handles so I could just sort of carry it maybe from the closet to the kids' art table or my kids could pick it up and put it away when they're done with it. I love this. Honestly, the options are endless for a caddy like this because you can create different arrangements with different cups and store all sorts of stuff. Okay, next up, if you missed, I shared a hacks video using the napkin holders from the Dollar Tree. I will link that down below if you missed it, but I actually combined four napkin holders with one of these paper towel holders to create an amazing stand to do all sorts of stuff with. You can use it to store paint, you can use it to store, again, your kids' arts and crafts supplies, but it's also the perfect storage solution for cake cups as well. You can store a bunch of cake cups right inside of this stand. And once again, I love doing it with this paper towel holder because it's essentially a built-in little handle so you can sort of carry it around where you need it to go. Another way that I use this as a caddy is I took three of the wire baskets from the Dollar Tree. I got the round ones. You can get these in squares or like whatever, however you want to do it. And I was able to create three along the bottom. And then I just spray painted this all one color to make it look cohesive. And you've essentially created like a little basket caddy, which would work great for like fruits or vegetables to leave out on your counter, use it in your craft room, use it in your bathroom. And you could even get creative with this and sort of decorate 
decorate it up a little bit more. I ended up taking a little bit of brown yarn and wrapping it at the top, sort of where the handle is. You could use twine. I just feel like it makes it look a little more finished. Okay, now you're going to take two of the paper towel holders and you're going to grab some of the baskets from the Dollar Tree. You can get really creative here on which size baskets you want, depending on like what you're looking to store. But I got some of these longer skinny ones and I essentially did two across. I just zip tied them um, onto each paper towel holder, spray painted everything a single color, and you essentially have created like a little stand that you could use to store all sorts of stuff, whether using it for like spices or pantry stuff, use it in your bathroom. It's just a great little storage caddy. And again, I love that this is customizable because you can sort of pick the baskets that you want that make sense for whatever you're trying to store and then use these paper towel holders to make them stand up. Next up, I'm going to use these paper towel holders as legs. Now, I got this wooden tray from Amazon and I spray painted three of these black and then I'm essentially just going to attach them to the bottom of the tray using a little bit of hardware that I got from the hardware store and you've created essentially a little side table or you can use it as a plant stand, whatever you wanna do. I think this looks so cute. I feel like these, this style of like black metal leg is super stylish right now, but if you wanna buy just some black metal legs, you're gonna spend way more than $1.25 each. So this is such a great hack for that. Okay, next up, I'm combining a paper towel holder with four of the cooling racks from the Dollar Tree. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm putting them back to back and attaching them to the paper towel holder using the Dollar Tree zip ties, which is like my favorite Dollar Tree crafting product ever. I was originally just gonna do two cooling racks, but realized I could go two more and make this even higher. So I just connected the cooling racks on the top so they wouldn't like flop over and then using zip ties essentially just sort of attach them to the top of the other cooling racks I have. Two cooling racks stacked vertically on either side of the paper towel holder. Now just like this, you've created a little stand that you could honestly just use as like to clip pictures or notes onto, but I wanted to create sort of like a display with this. So then I took a bunch of binder clips, you can get these at the Dollar Tree, and I'm hot gluing them onto the cooling racks. Then I'm just going to give this a spray paint just to make it look cohesive. You could do whatever color you want. I went for a matte black, and you essentially have created sort of a display stand. And you could do all sorts of stuff with this. I'm showing you here how I used it to display like a bunch of snacks. Maybe you're doing like a concession stand, or you just want it like out in your pantry for your kids to be able to grab their snacks. But you could use this for so much stuff. You know, display jewelry, display art prints. You could use it in your office to display pictures or notes, agendas or calendars. I love these sort of wire grid style things for organizing. I actually have the Dollar Tree copper ones that I use in my office, and I really like these because I just think they're really versatile. You can clip like all sorts of stuff onto them, but using it with one of the paper towel holders essentially just makes it so it's more of a stand. So you can put it on a table or on the floor or on a counter if you don't have a place where you can hang it on the wall. So great hack for using these. All right, my friends, that does it. Some of my favorite ways to use the Dollar Tree paper towel holders that isn't just for storing paper towels. But if you are going to use it to store paper towels, one of my favorite little hacks is actually to get some of these reusable paper towels. I got this set on Amazon, and I think these are really great. I try to really minimize how much paper towel I'm using for like day-to-day -day cleaning in my house. And so I love that this sort of displays it out like paper towels, so you can easily grab it, because I feel like habitually we're used to just grabbing paper towels. But these are obviously reusable, so you stick them into the wash, and then you can just reload them onto your paper towel holder. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Remember to be kind to yourself and others, and I will see you all in my next video.